consider some more one mark questions. Consider the first question. Operation star defined by a star b equal to a e star a binary operation on z. Let us consider the answer. Yes, it is a binary operation because for all a comma b belong to z the defined binary operation a star b which is equal to a also belong to z. Therefore, star is a binary operation. Now consider second question. Write the principal value branch of f of x equal to sin inverse x. We know that the principal value branch of sin inverse function is it is a closed interval from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now move on to the question 3. If A is equal to a matrix containing 4, 7, 6, 5, find determinant 3A. We know that determinant of KA is equal to K to the power N into determinant A. Similarly, now determinant 3A is equal to 3 to the power n where n is the order of the matrix that is 2 now. So 3 to the power 2 into determinant a. Value of the determinant a is 5 4 is a 20 minus 6 7 is a 42. So we will get 9 into minus 22 that is minus 198. Now consider question 4. Write the points of discontinuity for the function f of x equal to greatest integer x where x lies between minus 3 and 3. Minus 3 less than x less than 3. We know that the greatest integer function f of x is equal to greatest integer x is discontinuous at all integral points. Therefore, the given function f of x is equal to greatest integer x is discontinuous at minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Consider next question. Question number 5. Evaluate integral cosecant x into cosecant x minus cot x dx. To evaluate that, let us multiply the terms. That becomes cosecant square x minus cosecant x cot x dx. And we know that integral cosecant square x is minus cortex integral cosecant x cortex is cosecant x plus c therefore for the question number 5 integral cosecant square x minus cosecant x cortex dx is minus cortex plus cosecant x plus c now move on to question number 6 find the direction ratios of the vector Joining the points P of 2, 3, 0 and Q of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. The direction is from P to Q. So, first let us consider the vector PQ that is actually OQ minus OP. That is minus 1, minus, minus 2 becomes minus 3, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5, minus 3, minus 0. That is minus 3. Therefore, the direction ratios are minus 3, minus 5 and minus 3. Now 
consider question number 7. Find the equation of the plane with intercept 2, 3 and 4 on x, y and z axis respectively. We know that the equation of the plane related to this is x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. Therefore, if we replace the values x by 2 plus y by 3 plus z by 4 equal to 1. If we take 12 as the LCM, so we will get 6x plus 4y plus 3z equal to 12. This is the required equation of the plane. Consider the last question. It is given that A and B are independent. Probability of A is 0 0.3. Probability of B is 0 0.4. Find probability of A intersection B. As they are independent events, probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B. That is 0 0.3 into 0 0.4 that becomes 0 0.12. Thank you.